All right, example two, let's find the solution of this system. And what we're going to do is we're going to graph this system first and look for the intersection point. So if, let's do the first equation. We, y is equal to negative one-half x plus five. Well, our y-intercept is going to be 0, 5, which is here. And then our slope is negative one-half. So to find my next point, I'm going to go down two, I'm sorry, down one and to the right two, down one to the right two, right? or I could go up one and to the left two. Right? So let me graph that line. Right, so this is the equation y equals negative one-half x plus five. And then let's go ahead and graph the second one. For the second one, let's get this into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. I have negative 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. I get y is equal to positive 3 halves x minus 3. All right. Why don't you go ahead and pause right now, graph this line, and find the solution. All right, let's see if you did it. The y-intercept is 0, negative 3. That's right here. My slope is 3 halves. So I would go up 3, 1, 2, 3, to the right 2 spaces. To find the next point, I'm going to go up 3 and to the right 2. Again, up 3 and to the right 2. Or I could go down 3 and to the left 2 here. Let's draw our second line. So where's the solution? The solution is our intersection point, this point right here. The solution would be this ordered pair. 1, 2, 3, 4. Looks like it's 4, comma, 3. All right? And I'm going to actually check this just to make sure. So let's check. Because remember, if this truly is a solution, it needs to satisfy both equations. So let's check it in the first equation. So I'm going to replace y with 3. And I'm going to replace x with 4. And let's see if this is true. We get 3 is equal to, and I realize I'm off screen, sorry about that. Okay, so let me back up. So I'm checking 4 comma 3 in the first equation. So I replaced y with 3, replace x with 4, and let's see if we get a true statement. Um, negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2 plus 5. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. That's true. Okay? But that right there doesn't prove that it's a solution. Right? That proves it's a solution for the first equation, but it hasn't proven that it's a solution for the whole system. Right? We have to check both, because it has to satisfy both equations. All right, let's check the second equation. All right, so the second equation was 3x minus 2y equals 6, and let's replace x with 4, and the y with 3. So we have 12 minus 6 equals 6. That is true. Oops. Right? So by checking that, I've proven that 4 comma 3 is a solution. Right? Because when I replace x and y in both those equations with 4 and 3, both, we get true statements for both equations. Right? So our intersection point right there, 4 comma 3, that's our answer. That's the solution.